The workshops were really, really positive. They were received well by all the students. And I think they really helped to get the messages that the Rainbow Laces campaign wants to get out um, and to share those sort of positive messages. So yeah, it was, it was really good. Um, you can see we're, we're busy that on individual levels they've had a really positive impact as well. Um, and she's taken a lot from it in terms of confidence, how to be a better ally, how to sort of share those messages with her own classmates and, and football um, teammates, which is really good to see. It was a really good session. I think you learn a lot about it from experience and stuff. And I think it helps with later life and learn about different people's feelings and stuff. I think there was a lot of conversations after. Often the first thing to break down is uh, people's lack of confidence, not knowing what to say, feeling like they might offend somebody. And I think from Lizzie's point of view, she's been great um, in terms of helping start those conversations. She's found herself to be you know, starting that and, and feels more confident in doing it herself. So that's a really positive, positive outcome. Often people don't tend to understand the impact of like, their language um, or some of the words and phrases that they use. So by including that within the workshop, it was quite good to open people's minds and say, here's other alternatives you can use. How can you use pronouns, for example? How can you address a room with a more generic term rather than ladies and gentlemen or boys and girls, things like that. And it's not to say that you have to do those things, it's just to raise awareness really, and that's what the campaign's about. Um, and Izzy seemed to, to think that that message got across and that, like I say, there was a lot of conversation between her and her classmates afterwards about those sorts of things, which there isn't really any right or wrong answers, but our, our kind of aim is to, I suppose, spread awareness and, and open people's minds to different people and different sort of terms that you can use. We partnered up with Rainbow Blades to run the workshops, which I think added a, a really good dimension to it. Um, obviously, created more of a link to the football side of what the campaign is trying to achieve and obviously they are Sheffield United's official supporters group so to have them come down and, and support the messages that we we're trying to get over I thought that was really beneficial and it was nice to see the kids sort of engage and putting their rainbow laces in and asking what rainbow blades was about and as I say it just kind of adds to the, the whole day really. It's been great to come down to Hansworth FC to speak to Sheffield United uh, Community College about Rainbow Laces, about Rainbow Blades, about the importance of allyship. Um, we've been out on the pitch as well doing key people challenges uh, to link in the vicious theme of Rainbow Laces, which is Lace Up to Keep It Up. And it's been absolutely fantastic just to see the reception from the guys and how knowledgeable they are already on LGBTQ plus inclusion, how much they want to learn and how much they want to be visible allies. And I think that's extremely heartwarming and it really bodes well for the future. I think it's just basic respect for people. I think by like holding these sessions, I think it gets the word out a lot for people and it makes people feel more confident and inclusive in uh, football sessions. It spreads like a, a vibe message towards everybody to make everybody included.